In this video, we'll be looking at continuity and discontinuity of functions. To say that a function f is continuous at some value x equals c means that the graph of f is unbroken at c. In other words, no holes, jumps, or gaps. Some examples. f is not continuous in this example because f of x is not defined at x equal 1. Notice when x equal 1, we have a hole in the graph. In this example, the limit of f of x does not exist when x approaches 0. Notice when we come in the function from the left, the limit is 0. And when we come in on the function from the right, the limit is 1. These values need to be the same in order for the limit to exist. In this example, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is not equal to f of 1. The limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is 2, and that's not equal to f of 1, which is 1. If f is not continuous at c, then f is said to have a discontinuity at c. And there's two types of discontinuity. The first type that we'll look at is the removable discontinuity. The example here is the function g of x, which is equal to x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1. And you see from the graph that when x is equal to 1, there's a hole in the graph. Now this is removable because if we take this function and rewrite it in its factored form, we have x minus 1 times x plus 1, this is the difference of squares, over x minus 1, and these factors will cancel off. So the function behaves like y equals x plus 1 which is a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of 1. So it behaves like this linear function, except that we have to have a hole in the graph when x is equal to 1, since it's undefined at that point. Now, if we were to look at this function on the graphing calculator, In the standard window, it's not apparent that there's a hole in the graph. So uh, whenever we suspect that there's going to be a hole in the graph, we need to do a zoom decimal. So zoom 4. And we can see right here then that there is obviously a hole in the graph when x is equal to 1. The other type of discontinuity is a non-removable discontinuity. The function that we're using as an example is f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 over x minus 1. Now in this case, we can't factor or in some way remove that x minus 1 expression in the denominator that's causing the discontinuity. And so you see that the graph on this one is not a hole, but rather asymptotes at x equals 1.